Here's a video I mentioned to you about peripheral blood stem cell collection. It should answer a lot of the questions you have about this alternative to bone marrow transplant. I'll be here just in case you have any questions. Just press the play button to start. Thank you, doctor. Healthy blood and its components provide our bodies with oxygen and protection from infection. Blood cells are produced in the inner core of the bone known as the marrow. They begin as immature cells or stem cells. There is a large concentration of stem cells in the marrow, although a small number circulate throughout your body in the bloodstream or peripheral blood. Under normal conditions, there are not enough left in the marrow to replace what might be damaged during aggressive disease treatment, such as chemotherapy or radiation. Uh, Dr. Klein, if there are not enough of these stem cells to replenish my blood, then we'll have to do a bone marrow transplant, right? That's the crux of the procedure. We've developed a hormone-like drug that acts on your bone marrow so that it releases many more of these stem cells than it ordinarily does. So many, in fact, that there are high concentrations circulating in your peripheral blood. This hormone, or growth factor, works to directly stimulate your bone marrow. It works for both patients like you who are co collecting their own blood, or for other donors as well. So uh, what's the next step in the process? The next part of the video should make this more clear. A daily dose of growth factor is given for a period of several days. Then, the patient or donor will spend several hours connected to an apheresis machine. During apheresis, whole blood is pumped from the vein, components are collected, and the rest of the blood is pumped back into the patient. For this procedure, the white blood cells, including stem cells, are separated for later processing. The process is no more painful than an IV. However, it has been found by some patients and donors to be somewhat tedious. All right, do I have this right? I'm given a drug that hyperstimulates my bone marrow to release these stem cells into my blood so they can be separated, collected, and then stored for later use. Is that right? Exactly. In your case, we'll collect enough of the stem cells to replace many of those that you lose during the cancer therapy. As if I didn't have enough to worry about. Are there any side effects to this growth factor? Like most drugs, these growth factors do have side effects. You may have some pain in your bones and joints, and you may feel a flu-like syndrome with the daily injections. But that's about the extent of the side effects. Well, that brings me to another question. What if I can't use my own cells? That's the next section of the video. Take a look and see if it helps at all. In autologous transplantation, a person can collect his or her own cells or marrow for later transplant. If a patient is too sick or immunocompromised, then autologous donation may not be an option. Allogeneic transplantation is more common. A matched donor gives tissues and blood for another person. Most matches are found within family. A good match is important because incompatibility could make you sick or the transplant could fail. In a rare situation known as syngeneic transplantation, a patient's identical twin donates cells or tissues for transplant into the other twin. Did that help at all? Oh yes. I pretty much knew already about the donors having to match. I guess I'm fortunate that I can do this auto a tallow, you know, that I get to use my own cells. Autologous. It takes a little getting used to. Well, I got a lot to get used to these days. All right, tell me one more time. What are the advantages of using this procedure over going directly for the bone marrow? First, you won't have to have general or local anesthesia. And you won't have to go to the operating room. You also won't have that low back pain that frequently accompanies the bone marrow harvest procedure. On the other hand, you'll have to have several injections with the growth factor, and you'll have to be connected to the apheresis machine for several hours during the collection procedure. Okay. Well, thanks for the video, and thanks for your time, Doctor. Sure, you're welcome. Uh, is there anything else on the video? Let's take a look.